Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you the LEGO Super Mario Creativity Toolbox Maker Set. This is set number 71418, and this has a total of 588 pieces, and this set was released on January 1st, 2023 for $60, but let's take a look at it. Let's first take a look at Wendy Koopa. This is another character who is part of the Koopalings. And the only other Koopalings that we got before in the Lego Mario theme was Larry, Lemmy, Ludwig, and Icky. So all we need now is Morton and Roy, and that's it for the Koopalings. Anyways, the design of Wendy Koopa has a brick-built bow in her hair, and she does have the eyes print, the mouth print, and her tummy print at the front. And just like all the other Koopalings, she does have a wand in her hand as an accessory. And on the back, we have a pink Koopa cell piece with spikes popping out. And there's actually a barcode right here. And how Wendy interacts with Lego Mario is that if you step on her six times... you will get a couple of coins. As for the Goomba, we do have a new 2x2 face print at the front that is exclusive to this set. And the rest of the build is the same like all the other Goombas. Rather be that 2x2 feet piece on the bottom and a 2x2 tile barcode on top that Mario can jump on so that he will get one coin like always. And then we have this Yoshi in blue. And the only other colors of Yoshi that LEGO already made was the one in red, green, pink, and yellow. The build looks the same like all the other Yoshis with the eyes and the nostrils prints at the front as well as this white tummy. And on the back, we have this tail design, the saddle piece, and the hair. The only thing that I don't like is that the Zeke designs for this Yoshi has those round 2x2 two two tiles in blue instead of in white. And that is a mistake on LEGO and Nintendo's part for releasing this new set. The only way that I fixed it is that I took out these round 2x2 two two tiles in blue and I replaced these exact same pieces in white. Another mistake that I found from LEGO is that the box for this set has blue Yoshi, but without the white seats. And you can also find that same mistake on LEGO Shop at Home. But even though I fixed up this blue Yoshi, I'm sure LEGO will update the packaging for this set at some point in order to fix up the Yoshi seats in white. And how Blue Yoshi interacts with LEGO Mario is that if you step on this barcode, you can jump around with Yoshi just like this, or you will be able to eat up the enemies, which are part of those Yoshi interactions. As for the Super Mushroom, we do have the same ice print at the front of a 2x2 two two brick, and we have this mushroom cap piece in red with the white spots, which was first introduced back in 2020. And if you take off this mushroom cap piece, you can see how this is built by using those hinge pieces. And the mushroom itself does sit on this block. We do have this same barcode tile on top that Mario can jump on so that he will get the mushroom. But if Mario runs into an enemy or falls down a cliff, he will lose the mushroom. And this set also includes a gift box, as well as those three berries, which were first introduced last year during the summertime. And when Mario steps on the berry, you can tilt him forward just like this, in order to eat up the berry. And if Lego Mario steps on the berry again, you can also put it in this gift box and take it to other players. 
say if Luigi steps on it, he will open up the gift box and get the berry. And this new interaction was first introduced last year. Oh, you can also take the berry to Yoshi by stepping on the Yoshi barcodes just like this in order to be awarded with a few coins. Then we have this checkpoint flag, which is actually a new build for this year. It does have the same Bowser flag from the starter course sets, and on the bottom, there's actually an all-new barcode tile that Mario can interact. While you're playing in a level, if Mario steps on this barcode right here, you will be awarded with an extra 20 seconds to the timer. But if Mario steps on this same barcode but without play in the level, you will be awarded with a few coins. And this set includes these new scenery builds of how you can make your own Mario levels. As for the grass section, we have these buildable trees, as well as those flower pieces in pink, white, yellow, and red. You also get two arrow signs, as well as six clouds, eight bus rooms, and four buses. And right behind this cloud piece in green, we have a 1x3 jumper piece in green where you can place one of the berries right here. And then we have those hill builds that are found in the background in a couple of Mario games. And this desert section has two palm trees, four pyramids, three cactuses, and a desert statue called Stone Eye. And this seems to be another version of this same character who appeared in the Monty Mole and Super Mushroom expansion set from 2020. And then we have this lava section. This includes those four new flame pieces and a couple of these candle pieces. And there's a platform in the middle where you can place Wendy Koopa right here so that Mario can knock her over just like that. And finally, this set includes a lot of these different plates in green, yellow, brown, and red where you can make your own levels. So let's see which course I can make by using all of these pieces. So here's the course that I made and let's give it a go by placing Mario inside the pipe. And off we go. Let's grab the berry first and give it to Yoshi. There we go, now let's grab the mushroom, hit the checkpoint flag, and out of the grass section and into the desert. Let's jump on the stone eye, and then head into this lava section to knock out Wendy Koopa. There we go, and now let's head to the flagpole by jumping on the Goomba. There we go, we did it. Let's see how many coins I got. 20. I'll take it. And there you have it. That is my review of the LEGO Super Mario Creativity Toolbox Maker Set. And I hope you enjoyed this set as much as I do. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel for more LEGO review videos. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.